Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see about what is AWR report and why AWR report is a critical component of Oracle database and how does it help the performance testers, the developers and any other people in the IT. So first we will see what is the AWR report. So AWR report is an acronym of Automatic Workload Repository Report and it's a critical component of Oracle database which is designed to provide a comprehensive and in-depth analysis of database performance. A part of Oracle's self-management framework, the AWR collects and stores performance related data at regular intervals allowing users to generate detailed reports for diagnostic and optimization process and it not only helps the performance testers it also helps the other sectors of IT so we will see them one by one and before we move on to the video this is me Yavasan Shanmugam I welcome you all to Little Sir YouTube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet so now we will move on to the different areas so why AWR is important to all these people so firstly for developers so AWR reports they offer the developers a valuable insights into the performance of SQL queries and other database interactions so by analyzing the reports especially the top SQL statement section the developers can identify the poorly performing queries the bottlenecks and areas for optimization and this Analysis helps them in writing efficient and high performing code which ultimately enhance the application performance and next the database management team so for, for the database administrators the AWR reports serves as a comprehensive performance monitoring and diagnostic tool and the reports especially the AWR report provide detailed information on database configuration the resource utilization the weight events and much more. So the database management teams can use the AWR to proactively identify and address performance issues. They can optimize the database settings and ensure the overall health of the database system. So the health will be taken care of so we, by analyzing the AWR report. They can even keep the database healthy and then the performance tester. So the performance testers or the performance testing is a critical phase in the software development which we all know the software development life cycle so AWR report again on top of it plays a vital role in performance testing by providing detailed performance metrics during test scenarios and the testers can analyze these reports to identify any performance bottlenecks they can validate the scalability of the system and fine-tune the configurations for optimal performance under different workloads and fourth it's for the IT operations so the IT operations team benefit from the AWR reports by gaining the insights into the overall health and efficiency of the database and also they will monitor the key metrics such as the CPU usage, their memory consumption and the IO performance which helps the operations team to proactively manage and maintain the database infrastructure and this AWR report I and mean, this analysis is actually crucial for ensuring that the database meets SLEs or the service level agreements and delivers a consistent and reliable user experience. And the fifth one is the system administrators. So AWR reports contain information about system level performance. Again, it includes CPU and memory utilization. So these system administrators, the people who play the system administrator role, can use these reports to understand the impact of the database on the overall system resources. And this information is valuable for capacity planning and resource allocation. And this information, in fact, it allows the system administrators to ensure that the infrastructure meets the demands of the database workload. And finally, the business analyst. So business analysts may not directly interact with AWR reports because they don't have the technicality of reaching it 
but they benefit indirectly through improved application performance and also a well optimized database contributes to faster query response times and better overall system performance which enhance the user experience and supports data driven decision making so now we'll move on to the next part which is the more interesting part which is the myth and the fact so there are a lot of myths about the AWR reports and we will see what are the myths that we have on the AWR report and what are the actual facts so the first myth is the troubleshooting so <clears throat> people say that AWR is only useful for troubleshooting performance issues but the fact is AWR is indeed invaluable for identifying and resolving performance problems but it also serves as a proactive tool for monitoring and optimizing database performance over time it helps in trend analysis and <coughs> capacity planning and then the second myth is the resource resourcing or people say that the AWR consumes excessive system resources but the fact is AWR is designed to have minimal impact on system resources it collects and stores performance data at regular intervals ensuring that the overhead is low and the benefit of having detailed performance information will far outweigh the minimal resource usage and the third one is people say that AWR reports is only for expert users but the fact is while AWR provides in-depth performance metrics for advanced users it also offers summary level reports that are accessible to a broader audience both novice and experienced administrators can leverage AWR to gain insights into database performance the fourth myth is the performance so AWR reports are only relevant during performance issues but the fact is AWR reports are beneficial in both reactive and proactive scenarios and they help identify and resolve performance problems but also assists in maintaining the optimal performance by providing historical data for analysis and planning and then the last myth which I which we all know is the AWR reports are difficult to interpret while we know that AWR reports may seem complex initially, Oracle provides documentation and guidelines to help users to interpret those information. And with familiarity and experience, administrators can effectively navigate and extract valuable insights from AWR reports. So we have broken all the myths that were told about the AWR reports. In case if you find, if you think, or if you come across any of the myths please do comment in the comment section and then let's move on to the final part which is the how to effectively use the AWR report so we'll just quickly go through these so the first part is the understanding the report section so AWR report is divided into various sections including instance details time model statistics top SQL statements weight events and more so understanding each section is very crucial for pinpointing the performance bottlenecks. For example, the top SQL statement section highlights the most resource intensive SQL queries. And the second part is the report period selection. So AWR captures and stores performance data at regular intervals. When generating a report, we have to consider selecting an appropriate time period that covers the duration of the performance issue or provides a representative sample. And then the comparing period so AWR allows us to generate reports for multiple time periods which will enable you to compare the performance between different intervals and this is useful for identifying trends and changes in database behavior and then the focus on key metrics while the AWR report provides a wealth of information it's essential to focus on key metrics related to CPU usage memory utilization, input, output, and weight events, and these metrics can help identify the root cause of performance problems. And then the identification of top SQL statements. So the top SQL statements, which we all know, list the SQL statements with the highest resource consumption. So we have to pay attention to these statements as they are often the culprits behind the performance issues. And we have to optimize the poorly performing SQL queries to improve the overall database performance. And the sixth one is the 
weight events analysis so the weight events section provides insights into the time spent waiting for various events such as input output or logs by analyzing the weight events we can understand where the database is experiencing delays and take corrective actions accordingly and then the database configuration so the awr reports include information about database configuration settings so we have to review these settings to ensure that they align with best practices and are suitable for the workload and next comes the concurrency and contention so we have to check for signs of concurrency issues and contention in the report and we have to identify areas where multiple sessions may be contenting for resources leading to performance degradation and then the periodic AWR report generation. So we have to schedule periodic generation of AWR reports to monitor long term trends and proactively address performance issues. And we have to regularly review the AWR reports to identify the patterns and make informed decisions for database optimization. And then the utilization of Oracle Enterprise Manager. So Oracle Enterprise Manager provides a graphical interface for generating and analyzing AWR reports and this OEM which we call as Oracle Enterprise Manager simplifies the process and offers additional features for managing and monitoring databases. And then final reason to use the AWR report is to consider adding custom metrics by depending on specific requirements we have to consider adding custom metrics to AWR reports using Oracle's DBMS workload repository package and this allows us to include additional information relevant to your database workload. So by leveraging these tips and techniques the database administrators or the performance testers can effectively use AWR reports to diagnose performance issues optimize database configurations and ensure the overall health and efficiency of the Oracle database system. So with that, we come to an end and I believe this video is very useful. We will look at another video on how to dissect or how to understand the AWR reports in a separate video. So until then, it's bye bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.